Hello there, YouTube. I'm sure what I'm about to tell you has been plastered over every last crevice of the internet. However, by request, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Freeboot installation to version 0.04, .04, that's the Connect update, with the new lovely dashboard design and that little in-game dashboard thingy that's been made more streamlined and which I hate with every fiber of my being and which was never invented, but that's a topic for another time. So um, you're going to need a archive, a RAR archive to begin with, and you will need your CPU key and you will need a copy of your NAND which you can get by referring to the previous part in this tutorial follow-up series. So basically you dump your NAND via your preferred method. I will use Flash 360 because its awesomeness and inability to handle bad blocks is known the world around and I'm just too lazy to go and set up my LPT connector. Which reminds me, before I go into any of this, when you get to the end of this tutorial, when it comes to flashing your new image, there is some very important information which you should know, which I tried to explain in my previous tutorial but no one seemed to listen. If you have bad blocks in your NAND, by which I mean the original dump or the process dump, do not under any circumstances attempt to flash it using Flash 360. As I have said, the application does not support bad block management, and if a bad block is in a crucial area, you will end up having to re-solder all those LPT connections if you don't already have a connector in there. Which is really not very much fun, is it? So try to bear that in mind. The method for determining whether your NAND dump has bad blocks is outlined in the previous part of the follow-up series. Now the method behind this is extremely simple and I somewhat debated whether I would actually create this video, but I thought, what the heck, it's only two minutes or three minutes long and, and I really owe you guys a new JTAG video aside from the uh, freestyle dash video installation which uh, I'm going to be uploading very shortly now. Now as per usual I have planned ahead and for this tutorial I'm going to be getting my NAND dump and CPU key using the HTTP interface of Freeboot or Excelus to be more precise. So let's go to Safari here and um, I will open up the following IP address. Yours may be different, it may not. 192.168.0.12 Okay, here is our Excelus interface. I really don't care if you see my DVD key or CPU key because they are absolutely no use to you. Um, so let's go and copy the CPU key first. Copy and then we will download our NAND which is right here. Very good. And we can uh, close that now. If only my internet connection really downloaded stuff that quickly. So uh, let's go and uh, find that file, drag and drop it out into our desktop. Now all we need to do is run this application and make our image. Now let's open up a folder here and we will run EFB and there it is. So we will go and uh, grab our flash TMP here and place it inside our easy freeboot folder just to make things easier. Then hit create image and we will click flash TMP click open and now it needs the CPU key so I'll go right click paste there's our key hit OK the NAND you selected is from a Xenon console with a CB of 1921 is this correct yes this is correct give it a moment and we will hit enter the new image has now been compiled hit enter once again and now we can save the produced image I will save it in the easy freeboot folder as upd flash dot bin click save and now we will go and flash the image. And that's all there is to it. You are now running the latest dashboard version, Freeboot 0.04 .04, with Kinect capabilities. Once again, thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe if you found the tutorial useful, and I will see you again in my next video, which will be in approximately two hours, when I will be making a decision somewhat uncommon for someone who enjoys Apple products as much as I do. So goodbye and live long and prosper.